Welcome to the Solving Linear Systems video tutorial. The following examples will show you how to determine the solution set given a linear system. Example 1. Determine the solution set for the following set of equations. First, we want to load the package Student Linear Algebra. So we go to Tools, Load Package, and then Student Linear Algebra. Then we want to convert the equations from our question into matrix form. We do this using a task template, so we want to go to Tools, Tasks, and then Browse. And then we want to open the Linear Algebra tab and select Convert Linear Equations to Matrix Form. Then click Insert Minimal Content button, which is located over here. Now we want to enter the equations from our question into List of Linear Equations field. So we want to replace the default equations with the ones from our question. To do this, we can select the equation from our question, hold down the control key, and drag it in between the brackets. And then we want to do this with the rest of the equations, and we want to separate them by a comma. Once you have completed that, press the Enter key. Now we want to replace xy with xyz. So over here, we want to enter comma z and press the Enter key. This is because our equations are in terms of variables x, y, and z. Now let us execute the command in the augmented matrix field. So over here, we want to press the Enter key. And here we have our equations in matrix form. Now let us open the context menu and select Assign to a name. Then we want to enter A and click OK. And now we have assigned this matrix to the variable A. Now let us row reduce our augmented matrix to determine our type of solution set. First we want to type A and press the Enter key. Then we want to open the context menu Go down to Standard Operations and select Row Reduced Form. Looking at our Row Reduced Form, we can see that since there are as many rows of leading ones as there are variables, and notice that over here we have three rows of leading ones and three variables, x, y, and z. This means that there is only one point in the solution set. So the planes that our equations represent intersect in a single point. Now let's determine the point of intersection by determining the solution set. Step 1. We want to type A and press the Enter key. Then we want to open the context menu, go down to Tutors, Linear Algebra, and then Linear System Solving. Now we want to click Gauss-Jordan Elimination. And then notice that over here we have our augmented matrix. Then we want to click All Steps. And this shows you the steps for how to row reduce the matrix. And notice that down here we have our row reduced matrix. Then we want to click Solve System of Equations. And then click Equations and then Solution. Then click Close. And here we have the point at which all four planes intersect. So our solution set is the point that we have just solved for. Finally, let us display a graphical representation of the intersection of the planes. We do this by executing the following command to see how our four planes intersect. And notice that this command will open up the Linear System Plot Tutor and apply it to our matrix A. Press the Enter key. And over here we have a visual representation of the four planes intersecting. And we can see that all four of them intersect at this point, which is our point of intersection that we have just solved for. Now click Close. And so here we have our solution set for a linear system, which contains one point of intersection. And here we can see a visual representation of that point of intersection. This concludes Example 1. Example 2. Determine the solution set for the following set of equations. First, we want to load the package Student Linear Algebra. So we go to Tools, Load Package, and then Student Linear Algebra. Then we want to convert the equations in our question into matrix form. We do this by using a task template. So we go to Tools, Tasks, and then Browse. And then we open the Linear Algebra tab and click Convert Linear Equations to Matrix Form. Then we want to click the Insert Minimal Content button, which is located over here. Then let us enter the equations from our question into the list of linear equations field. So we want to replace the default equations with the ones in our question. We do this by selecting the equation in our question, holding down the control key and dragging it in between the brackets. And then we do this for the rest of the equations in our question, and we separate them with a comma. Once you have completed this, press the Enter key. Then we want to replace xy with xyz. So over here we want to enter comma z and press the enter key. This is because our equations are in terms of variables x, y, and z. Then we want to execute the command in the augmented matrix field. So over here we want to press the enter key. And here we have our equations converted into a matrix form. 
Then we want to open the context menu, select assign to a name, and enter B. Click OK. And we have assigned this matrix to the variable B. Now let us row reduce our augmented matrix to determine the type of solution set. Step 1. We want to type in B and press the Enter key. Step 2. Open the context menu, go down to Standard Operations, and select Row Reduced Form. Now looking at our Row Reduced Form, we can see that since there are fewer rows with leading ones than there are variables, and notice that over here we only have two rows with leading ones, and we have three variables X, Y, and Z. This means that there are infinitely many solutions, so the planes intersect in a line. Now let us determine our solution set. So we want to type in B and press the Enter key. And then we want to open the context menu, go down to Tutors, Linear Algebra, and select Linear System Solving. And then we click gauss jordan Limitation, and notice that our matrix is located over here. And then we want to click All Steps, which shows you the steps to row reduce our matrix. And notice that here we have our row reduced matrix. And then click Solve System of Equations and then click Equations, and Free Variables, where it takes T as being our free variable, and click Solution. Click Close. And here we have our solution set. Since our solution set has only one free variable, in this case T, then our planes, which are represented by the equations in our linear system, intersect in a line. Now let's display a graphical representation of the intersection of the planes. We do this by executing the following command over here. So this command opens up our linear system plot tutor and applies it to our matrix B. Press the enter key. And here we have the intersection of our four planes. And notice that they all intersect in a line. Now click close. And here we have our solution set which contains all the points that lie on the line of intersection. And here we have a graphical representation of the line of intersection. This concludes example two. Example three. Determine the solution set for the following set of equations. First, we want to load the package student linear algebra. We do this by going to tools, load package, and then student linear algebra. Then we want to convert the equations in our question into matrix form. We are going to use a task template. So we go to tools, tasks, and then browse, and then we open the Linear Algebra tab and click on Convert Linear Equations to Matrix Form. Then we want to click on the Insert Minimal Content button, which is located over here. Step 3. Enter the equations from our question into the List of Linear Equations field. So we want to replace the default equations with the ones from our question. We do this by selecting the equation in our question, holding down the Control key and dragging it in between the brackets. And then we do this for the rest of the equations, separating them by a comma. Once you have completed this, press the Enter key. Then we want to replace xy with xyz. So over here we want to enter comma z and press the Enter key. We do this because our equations are in terms of variables x, y, and z. Now let us execute the command in the augmented matrix field. So over here we want to press the Enter key. And now we have our linear system in matrix form. Then let us open the context menu and select Assign to a name, and enter C and click OK. And this assigns our matrix to the variable C. Now let us row reduce our augmented matrix to determine the type of solution set. Step 1. We want to type in C and press the Enter key. Step 2. Open the context menu, select Standard Operations, and then Row Reduced Form. Now taking a look at our row reduce form, since there is a row of the form 0 equals 1, we can see that there are no solutions. So this means that the planes that our equations represent don't intersect in a common point. And now let us determine our solution set. So we want to type C and press the Enter key. Step 2. Open the context menu, go down to Tutors, Linear Algebra, and Linear System Solving. Then we want to click gauss jordan Elimination, All Steps, and Solve System of Equations. And here we have the error that the system is inconsistent and has no solution. Click OK. And note that since our system does not have a solution, we have an empty solution set. Now let us display a graphical representation of the intersection of the planes. 
Execute the following command to see a graphical representation of the intersection of the planes. So by executing this command, we are opening the linear system plot tutor and applying it to matrix C. So press the enter key. And notice that over here, our planes do not intersect. And here you can see multiple colors on this plane because three of our planes lie on top of one another. And so here we have an empty solution set and no point of intersection. This concludes example three. Thank you for watching the Solving Linear Systems video tutorial.